Thank you for joining me this Sunday for an update on what Miami-Dade County is doing to deal with the impact of COVID-19. It's Palm Sunday today and we have Easter and Passover coming very soon. These are very difficult times and our community is looking to their religious leaders to help them through this. I want to thank the religious leaders of all creeds in our community for taking personal responsibility and protecting their congregations against the spread of COVID-19. You're holding virtual services on Facebook or other social media and hosting religious programs on radio and TV. That's the safest way to keep us all connected. This helps us all stay safer at home during these religious holy days. Testing is going well at the drive through testing site we just opened at the South Dade Government Center. People can also get tested at the Marlins Park site that's been open for a couple of weeks now. If you're over 18 years old and have symptoms, you should call 305-499-8767 to make an appointment. The call center opens each day at 9 o'clock uh, to take appointments for the two testing sites for the following day. You cannot test without an appointment. So let me repeat, the number to call for an appointment to get a test at either Marlins Park or South Aid is 305-499-8767. My team continues to monitor the, monitor the number of beds and ventilators that we have available at all of our hospitals. I signed an order yesterday to make sure we get daily updates from all hospitals. We're in good shape for now, but we will be monitoring the supply of hospital and ICU beds daily, as well as the respirators available in Miami-Dade County. I want to stress how important it is for people to continue to stay safer at home, because that's the only way that we can get out of this pandemic quickly. And if you have to go out, follow CDC guidelines. You must practice social distancing of six feet between you and others. And the CDC also recommends you wear a protective face cover, such as a mask, whenever you go to a grocery store, a pharmacy, and the like. Remember, everyone must act as if they are carrying the virus. The health and safety of our county's residents remains my paramount concern and helping any visitors who need emergency care. We continue to work at the Port of Miami to offload passengers and crew and get them to their homes as quickly as possible, while also helping some very sick patients get the medical care that they need to save their lives. And while passenger counts at Miami International Airport is down by 90%, the airport will remain open to conduct its vital and essential services to our community. Remember, we're all safer at home. May God bless you all.